So the first time I played rugby, I was actually 18. It was the year before I went to West Point, and I was walking across the Gonzaga University campus, and I saw a group of people playing a sport that was unlike anything I'd seen. There was a lot of tackling. I couldn't figure out what was going on. And uh, one of them asked me if I was interested in trying it out, and the very next day I started in my first game of rugby. Uh, I played throughout my time at West Point, and then when I was a Marshall Scholar, I was fortunate to study uh, postgraduate in England, and there I started playing at a higher level. In 2004, I was selected to the U.S. national team. I was fortunate to play a lot of rugby, and then I also coached a little bit right before uh, I went to test pilot school. My last weekend playing rugby was the weekend prior to finding out I became an astronaut. So rugby has surprisingly helped me a lot as an astronaut, and when I'm training in the spacesuit in the EMU, and we're working in our, in our large pool, the neutral buoyancy lab underwater, we're under there for six hours at a time, and you really work yourself to physical and mental exhaustion. The only other time that I've hit that point of exhaustion is the 60th minute of a rugby match. When your body gets that physically tired, you can't mentally give up. You actually have to think about things more deliberately, with more clarity, because you're more prone to mistakes. And it's the people that can overcome that physical and keep going with the clarity of mind that win both rugby matches and that find themselves successful uh, training in the spacesuit. I am Anne McLean, and I am an astronaut. Subscribe for more space. space.